In the early 1960s, at the request of the Italian Navy, the Augusta Company began developing a ship-borne helicopter for the Impavito-class destroyer. Due to the small standard displacement of the destroyer, which was only about 3,200 tons, and the small rear deck and hangar, it was unable to carry a large helicopter. Therefore, the company designed a small single-seat anti-submarine helicopter called the Augusta A.106, which was also an early military combat helicopter in Italy. The Augusta A.106 had an empty weight of only 590 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 1,400 kg. It was powered by a Turbomico Augusta TA.230 turboshaft engine. Although this was a very successful engine, small in size and light in weight, it only produced a power output of 220 kilowatts, which was not enough to meet the flight requirements of a military helicopter. However, under the conditions at the time, it was still a good choice. It was able to reach a cruising speed of 167 km per hour, a maximum flight speed of 176 km per hour, a maximum altitude of 3,000 meters, and a maximum range of 740 km. The A.106 used a two-blade main rotor with a diameter of 9.5 meters, and had small wings and a tail rotor behind the tail boom. In consideration of the need for hangar parking, both the tail boom and the main rotor were foldable. The landing gear was of the skid type, but it could also be equipped with a capsule-shaped dual float on the skid, enabling it to take off and land on water. Despite its small size, the A.106 was not weak in terms of attack capability. It could carry two Mk-44 lightweight anti-submarine torpedoes under the fuselage, which were weapons produced under license in Italy from the United States. Each torpedo weighed 196 kilograms, was 2.5 meters long, and had a warhead weighing 34 kilograms. When the torpedoes were removed, it could also carry 10 15.5 kilogram depth charges, enabling it to launch multiple attacks against submarines. Some articles also mentioned equipping the helicopter with rockets or machine guns, which was not difficult from a technical perspective and could be achieved using specialized weapon pods. The prototype of the A.106 made its first flight in 1965. Initially, the aircraft could only fly during the day in good weather conditions. Later, the addition of an automatic stabilization system improved the flight performance. However, conducting a comprehensive technical upgrade for such a light helicopter was very difficult, and the project was completely terminated in 1972. The Augusta Company did not completely give up on the A.106, and attempted to replace it with a higher power engine to develop a civil helicopter for high-altitude lifting operations, as well as a military helicopter for medical transport. However, these attempts did not generate any interest, as the development potential for this single-seat light helicopter was indeed limited.